so the palm trees are around those benches would be significant of where like the structure was actually. Yeah, the palm trees identify the main um, structure or the main post holes or beams for the construction or the foundation of the, where the location of the the benches is actually right on top of where the cemetery was and all the burials and there were about 400 people uh, identified being buried underneath the church. So when they excavated that area they had at least the remains of 400? Was yep. the, this side of the wall fell into the church and this side of the wall fell into the other plaza that was located here. And so when they excavated, they, they found like everything that was on the wall face down. And they found the kind of wall trench that was located on this side here, as well as the daub processing pits that were dug out to be able to construct the church that was used to go in through the plaza into the church. You could see that it's kind of in the line here. Um, and only the aerial photographs could really show that. And that, that center dark spot then again, that stump, is the same stump that I would see right outside the window there. Yep. And then those benches? Those are actually the interior of the, uh, the church because there were uh, friars that were martyred out here. Um, during the Wally Revel uh, Revolt, they, uh, a couple of the friars were killed and so there's a little debate on where the location of it was because there's a couple of islands that had different missions on it, but uh, what they believe is that the friars here were the ones that were um, killed during because the Because this was underwater, they had to um, pump the water out. And um, which well was this, a secular or the...? This one was, yes. Uh, and then there, I think the smaller well... Um, intact but um, that also has paint some type of paint on it we don't really find anything that has this any dark paint um, applied to the ceramic usually it's just paddle marked or paddle stamped um, and so it was really unique to find this type of vessel uh, and we're still trying to do analysis and we found three of them and we believe that they were attached to the wall so when the wall fell in to the church these were face down and when so you say a wally face what do you they think that's a mask they used to wear or just an interpretation of what they an interpretation of what they look like um, okay. this is the only representation that we have possibly of what they they look like um, and it's believed that these were it the stations of the crosses within the church and so um, they when Dave was excavating, he found these face down, and that's why they believe that they were attached to the wall. And so when they fell, that, that's why they landed that we way. We have medallions, we have, uh, you know, figurines, we have crosses, um, and so we found a collection of this material within the burials that were wow, found. that's awesome. Yeah, and then here are some of the majolican bowls that were excavated, plates. Um, that were found during that. You can also see the beads sticking out of the ground related to some of the burials. And then the next picture is the beads that were found in most of the burials. And that's pretty much the book cover right there. Yeah.